Shalom. All right, Shalom. 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 First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. And um, through a spirit, once again to this lesson, you know, pretty much dealing with uh, the word of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, being withdrawn from the earth. Okay, uh, as a matter of fact, I think also in Second Ezra, there's a precept about uh, wisdom flourishing, right? The right. truth that has been so long without food shall, shall basically flourish. Right, which is spiritual because the world is getting dumber and dumber, right. you know, and yet the truth is flourishing more, but it's it's flourishing amongst the elect. Okay, it's flourishing amongst us. So our our understanding, okay, uh, is increasing amongst us, right. you know, while the world is getting is getting worse and worse and worse. And ultimately what's going to happen is, which we can also get Matthew 25 with the, the wise and the foolish versions. Ultimately, what's going to happen is the Lord is going to make that that separate distinction between not just um, Israelites that don't know the Israelites, but also Israelites that do know the Israelites. All right. That are not that don't have the oil. OK. Uh, second, is just uh, the 16th chapter tells you that. OK, so that's, that's going to show you, um, I believe, in the book of Samuel, it talks about how. In those days, the word of the Lord was precious, right? And that was because you didn't have a prophet, you didn't have a, a, a you know, any of them uh, around at that time, you know. So it made the word of the Lord precious because it was very rare. And that's what's going to come in these times when people are looking for answers and solutions, and they're not going to be able to get it, you know. So we can uh, we can get second edges. Let's actually start off with um, Isaiah thirty three and six, right? And then we'll go into second edges five. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, at verse 6, it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is his treasure. Right, so it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the, the, the stability of thy times, right? Which even, even now, in this time, the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai keeps us stable. Right. You know, it, it helps us maneuver in this world. There are certain situations that you can, you know, you are able to avoid by using wisdom because you're able to think ahead and say, you know what, let me be spiritual, you know, and then you get out of a certain situation. All right. But in the times that we're coming into, a lot of people are going to be completely messed up in the head because a lot of them don't expect what's going to happen. But even when you take a look at like these truthers, for example, they have some wisdom and knowledge to a certain degree, but they don't have the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Because knowing what's going to happen is not necessarily what's going to keep you stable. Right. Knowing what to do in those times is what's going to keep you stable, right? See, you may know, oh, uh, the, you know, the missiles are coming. There's going to be martial law in the streets. But when that happens, you might actually bug out right. because of how crazy it is. Because you, you you knew it was coming, but your bug out bag wasn't enough. Right. So now you're like, well, what do you do? How do you protect your family? You may have a plan, but when you realize how real shit gets, you realize your plan has no... No, it has nothing on the level of chaos that's going on. Right. So in that time, people are going to be looking for real solid answers. Right. And amongst us, we know that, look, it ain't going to be of our strength. Mm -hmm. All we can do is put our faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's going to keep us stable. That's it. You know, we don't have to worry about, damn, how do you store up food for six months without it going bad? Mm -hmm. You know, and if you don't have access, you lost the keys to your vault. Now you're screwed. No, the Lord is going to do the heavy lifting. Right. We're just thinking, you know what? Have faith in the Lord, and however He does it, He does it. That's what's going to keep you stable. Yeah, like you look at the the time in the wilderness. You know, we had no food, no water, no electricity, no shelter, nothing. But the Lord was everything that we needed, because He provided all those things for us. And He said He's going to do the same thing, but this time even greater. So the 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 story of Egypt, the testimony of Egypt, the history of how the Lord delivered us from Egypt, forty years in the wilderness. I mean, we ain't going to be in no wilderness for another forty years. But that's just to show you that if the Lord could do that for 40 years, how much more a few months, right? So we got to think of the magnitude of that that type of uh, deliverance, right? That's why the Lord said uh, uh, the strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is, is our treasure. Because only those who fear the Lord are going to have that ability to navigate and do what they need to do. Like, for example, uh, when the CV thing happened, none of us took it. But again, that's just prelims of the hour of temptation because you had a lot of people who are divided by that. You know, family coming against you, all these different things, your work, your job, you know, going to a grocery store. It's, it's, it's just like you're an outcast. But that's okay because if you're righteous in a wicked society, 
you got you got to be an outcast. You have to expect to be an outcast. You know, there's a difference between uh, an, an elect and a non-elect, and that difference is going to be magnified during the times that we're coming into, because only the elect are going to have the key, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the number one key, which is the name of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and then also the second key would be what the faith to be able to call upon that name in the time of trouble and expect those miracles to happen on, on, on your behalf, right? So that's all part of that treasure. Only the fear of the Lord is going to grant you that 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 key, you know. Right. So, um, my brother got any precept? Uh, second Ezra 5. Yeah. yeah. Something with first verse? Yeah. Uh, this is Second Ezra 5 and 1. Nevertheless, as come in the tokens, behold, the day shall come. Which what are the tokens? The tokens are the signs, right? Yep. They're the signs that the angel was given uh, Ezra of what the, the last days are going to be like. So really, Yahweh I also gave us tokens right. in Matthew 24. Right. Yep. You got it. That they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in, in great number. Yeah, because there's going to be a lot of death. Okay, a lot of them are going to be destroyed. All right, and then you have the um, these uh, how how is that all going to happen? What we're seeing here, right? They got these different agendas and so on and so forth. So again, how is the scriptures being brought to life? Right, it's not just random acts just happening. No, these are planned events that are happening. We're just highlighting them. And bringing it, filtering it through the scriptures, right? So you have Pfizer, uh, the Pfizer CEO saying that, um, you know, by 2021, you know, saying they want to have at least, no, by 2025, uh, the population should be down by 50%, right? So that means 4 billion people got to go. So when he said, and it looks like 2021, it looks like that, that, um, that goal, all right, is being made manifest. That's the prophecy being fulfilled right there. You know, because a lot of people like to think that, oh, Bible prophecy, because, you know, if you don't see it on a full scale, that means it's not happening. Nah, if the scripture says this will happen and you start seeing those things happening, that's the scriptures being fulfilled. You know, if it says a lot of people are going to be put to death and you start seeing people getting put to death just because you ain't get put to death yet, doesn't mean the, the prophecy hasn't been fulfilled. Right. It doesn't say oh, everyone's going to get put to death, but it says a great number. So you got millions and billions of people. All right, who about, to be, who about to be taken out by Yahweh Hashem Shai by way of Esau Edom? Okay, and we're highlighting all, highlighting all these things, bringing it to what? Your remembrance and also to reality. That listen, this is not a fairy tale. This is not a, you know, a, 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 something that's uh, determined for another thousand years. No, this is your reality. We're highlighting what's happening to you and through the scripture so you know, oh yeah, this is definitely what the Lord said was going to happen. is actually happening. And only the elect are going to see it that way. The rest going to look at it like it's just another thing happening in the world. Nah, this is the end time prophecies, man. You know, and it's going to go according to how the scriptures is, 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 is designed it to go, which is the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Uh, Got it. Because, uh, uh, you know, at this point, people just know that the knowledge is there. Like when you give them the knowledge, they think that just because they know that not, that knowledge is brought out, they know it. Mm -hmm. But you got to, once you know that knowledge is there, then you got to search through that knowledge. Cool and be familiar with that knowledge. And that is why we constantly keep stretch, um, stressing, you know, the day of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And that's actually one of the reasons why we are thankful that Yahweh Hashem Yashai makes this message repeatable, right? It's the same sentiment from the beginning to the end, right? Because he knows that it is knowledge that makes a man capable. A lot of people put a lot of trust in their body, but the body is only capable if the mind makes it capable, mm -hmm. you know? And um, I have a precept, um, 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 Philemon chapter 1, chapter verse 9. It says, uh, And this I pray that your love uh, may abound yet more and more in knowledge, right? So your love abound, but more in knowledge, because knowledge is very, very important. It says, And in all judgment, that ye may approve things that are excellent, that ye may be sincere and without offense till the day that Hamashiach comes back. Mm -hmm. And that is very, very important. The knowledge is what makes you move forward in this truth. The knowledge is what makes you acceptable in the eyes of the Ha'abashim Yashai. All the attributes and the characteristics that makes the man of the Lord, uh, a man of the Lord that that pleases the Ha'abashim Yashai, he is able to exhibit these characteristics because he's knowledgeable of the scriptures, because he's knowledgeable about what the Ha'abashim Yashai likes and does not like, because he's knowledgeable to where that to where if he doesn't have a a a, a, a um a resolute answer to everything he is capable of coming up with a reasonable thing just to get him past because and that's what it is you know that knowledge so while it's here make use of that 
make use of that to the best of their ability because when he yo it's like we can't stress you how important this knowledge is and that's why the Mosai has it out there for the longest time and that is why he still had it out there even when the prophets were being killed because he knows i know what the prophets are going through but this knowledge still has to be pushed okay. right he knows it puts the men of the lord in danger but he knows it still got to be out there for your sakes because he knows how important it is for you so when he takes it out I, I, yeah you're gonna be sorry you know because it, it's not the recommendation of a man it is a recommendation of the most high right. you must know this and if you don't believe him hey you know it's it's on your your, your death is on your own head right. pretty much right. hey now that actually reminds me of a brother could get real quick psalm 143 is yeah. one, the 143rd chapter since you mentioned that you know and that's why it's also important and we're gonna get back to second measures the fifth chapter Psalms 140. Uh, 143 but that's why it's also important to um you know to know the ways of the lord okay you have a lot of israelites that they they come into the truth and they miss the most important aspect of the knowledge you know they they get super deep with, with other other things you may know the history you may know this you may know that but a lot of them do it for the wrong reasons they learn the scriptures not to know the lord and fear the lord but they do it so they can be they can be sharp enough to cut somebody you know yeah, or, or go out there and, and get fans because they know how to how to debate. You know, a lot of people actually put in hard hard times just to learn how to debate. Right. You know, and they miss the whole point. And that's why when you when you look at what people focus on, when you when you when you listen to these debates, what they focus on is rarely ever actually about the Most High right. or Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Yeah. It's mostly about oh the law or right. your yeah. belief says this or your belief says that. Yeah, yeah. And, and what about this? warfare. That's all it is. Exactly. Like, you know? Exactly. And that's not going to get you delivered because that doesn't build up your faith. It just makes you look good and feel good about yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. But when the time comes, when the Lord says X, Y, or Z, or you got to do this, or you got to do that, they don't know how to operate in those, in those, uh, situations. So, um, yeah, if a brother got, I think it's Psalms 143, uh, you could just start at the top and I'll know if it's right. Psalms 143, uh, three, start from verse one. It says, hear my prayer, O Lord, Yahweh, give ear to my supplications and thy faithfulness answer me and in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. Yeah, because if the Lord was to, what the scriptures say that um, if the Most High was to count iniquities, who shall stand? Mm -hmm. Nobody. <laughs> so that's why King David is saying, don't enter into judgment with your servant, because nobody can stand before you and, 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 and have any chance <laughs> of actually succeeding. You know, even the judgment the Lord gives us is in mercy. You know, you got it. It says, for the enemy has persecuted my soul, he has smitten my life down to the ground, and has made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works, mm -hmm. I muse on the work of thy hands. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we're supposed to be doing. Huh? All right, when you muse, you meditate, you, you think upon, you ponder. Upon the Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, upon the works that he does. The scriptures talk about having your mind occupied with prophecy, right? With these scriptures. So as King David is saying that, yo, there was a time when, you know, I was I was all about it. You know, but these 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 enemies have my mind all messed up. <laughs> right? Keep going. Right. It says, Hear me speedily, O Lord Yahweh. My spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Mm -hmm. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk. Oh, cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. See, cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, because ultimately, what you, how we serve the Lord, is according to how He wants to be served. Okay. So when you go to serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, it's like reading a job description. You have to know what are your requirements. So if you if you come thinking, oh, I'm gonna come and serve the Lord how I want to do it, this that ain't how my God would do it. You, you're completely going off. So as King David said, you show me how you want to be served, and then I'll do it. And that way, I know I can't go wrong because you show you told me that you want you want to you want me to keep the Sabbath. You want me to do this. You want me to do that. Okay, not it's not according to your own will. Go on. It says, "Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide." Um, Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God, thy spirit is good. 
lead me into the land of uprightness. And that's the key point right there. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Okay? And that's what we all have to pray for. You know, that's actually a very good, good thing to pray for, for the Lord to teach you how to do his will. Okay, it's all about, remember, it's about being acceptable in the sight of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So if you're doing something or you're going about a particular matter a certain kind of way, you want to do it in a way where it's pleasing to the Lord. Even if you're hated or whatever the case is, we weren't put here to be liked anyway. We were put here to serve the Lord. So as a servant of the Lord, your number one goal should be, how can I best serve the Lord? How can I be the, 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 you know, the best that I can be of use to the Lord based on what he's given me? So that's why that's a very key, important prayer. Like I asked, you were saying, when you learn this, this truth, you have to learn it for the right reasons. You know, because that's how it, we read about men of the Lord in the scriptures. And if we're men of the Lord, then we need to know how men of the Lord lived. How did they behave? How did they remain obedient to the Heavenly Father? And you learn a lot of those in the scriptures. And that's why it tells you, look at the generations of old and see if any ever trusted in the Lord and was forsaken. So that, that was it on the uh, Psalms. All right. You can uh, go back to uh, Second Edges 5. Yeah. I get it. So, so yeah, ultimately, man, that's that's the times that we're in and all the sacrifices that we've done, <laughs> you know, look, every time you go out there, out there to the highways and byways, it's also a sacrifice. OK, it's a sacrifice because people look at you funny. They, they talk all that shit. They don't give you the, the due respect. And we know the level of knowledge that we're dealing with. You know, we're not just ordinary men, but nobody gives the time to listen. If they listened, you know, in the, with, with, a, with open ears, yeah. the Lord will have mercy. You know, the Lord was, they, they would realize, yo, these guys, you know, they, they're not a bunch of idiots or, you know, fools after all. These guys, they know something. You know, these guys, they know something, but they don't listen. <laughs> and that's because the Lord said what? Make their their um, their um ears heavy and their hearts fat. John. John. So uh, if, yeah, if you got second Ezra, you can bring it up. All right, I'll start from the top again. Second Ezra is five and one. Neither, ne nevertheless, as come in the tokens, behold, the day shall come, that day which dwell upon earth shall be taken in a great number. Right, so a lot of people are going to be put to death. Go on. And the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. Right, the way of truth shall be hidden. And that links up with Amos 8 and 11. And the land shall be barren of faith. Because faith is not something you just... Well, faith in Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shah is not something that's given to everybody, okay? And you 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 um you grow your faith, you know. Over time, you grow your faith. Hey, what's up with this guy, man? You grow your faith. You know, it's not just something that just that just uh, happens or comes overnight. So as we're seeing, faith in this world is going is becoming less and less and less, except amongst the elect, which is growing. But remember that the elect are a very small remnant compared to the rest of the world. Right, and that's why you have all this uh, Satanism going on. I remember yesterday you showed me the video of that Doja oh, Cat shit, and that's all what they use as a as a as an influence on on the minds of the people. You know, now we in we in a time where you have somebody who can do a, a music video and you know literally come out and talk about demons that, that that's on them. Yep. So it's, it's they're using Esau is using so called art form to portray real life. You know, art imitates life, and we we know that we know. These rituals that they do, they don't they don't show it just for nothing. You know? So they, you know, we're at the point where if 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 they had the spirit of Yahweh Ba Shemi Al Shai on them, they wouldn't be doing shit like that. You see, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. You know, now this whole T G movement is out and about, you know, they're pushing it on the children, you know, the rainbow color people. It, it, it's just it's just a, a oversaturation of, of folly, you know, wickedness. And that's what the Lord said will be happening in these last days. Sodom and Gomorrah all over again, man. All right, and that's why this place is finna get torched. You know, the Lord is slowly but surely retracting his word. The only way of salvation is being taken away and given only to the elect, you know, which is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the, of the scriptures. You know, and once that's done and the Lord seals the book, he says it's over, it's done with. Hey, why do you think all these so-called pastors, all of a sudden everybody's going into Bible. Everybody wants to talk about what's in the Bible. Everybody's putting in their two cents and they're not, they're not teaching anything new. They're just saying what we're saying isn't what it is. How the fuck... How, where do we how do you start a conversation like that oh you just come in you, you nobody heard from you you just popped up out of nowhere saying oh this isn't this this isn't this you guys are not teaching the truth you've had all these years right. why is that you're now coming out to talk about these things because we're at the end 
You see, and the Lord is, is, is hyping up these spirits, these wicked left-handed spirits, all of a sudden to what? To be rebellious and combative to the truth. You know, because the judgment is coming and it always happens this way. You got people who pop up out of nowhere, start talking this shit, and then boom, the Lord judges their ass. Look at this guy, uh, two years ago, wrapped the noose. The most I wrapped the fuck out of that nigga, man. And now, now where he, he at? Now he's old news. He's old news. You see? And the same thing's gonna be happening to a lot of these so-called pastors, these priests, these this, these that. They all gonna get cooked very soon, man. Alongside these stupid ass congregations too. Mm -hmm. Okay? The Lord is not gonna have no mercy. When Esau starts bringing that fire, then you're really gonna see who's who. All right. And there'll be no one to save you. There'll be no one to give you the word of the word, the sound words of advice. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, do this, do that, do that, because ain't nobody there to, to tell you what to do. We're not going to be there to tell you what to do. We're not going to have the spirit to tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to be focused on what we got to do yep. for salvation. And that's about it. Mm -hmm. OK, because we, we are we telling them now yeah. and they're not listening. Mm -hmm. Right. So in that time, we're going to tell them, go to the, go to the buyers and sell. That's it. You know, like you were saying, because, because in that time, it's not going to be time for talking. Right. Look, when all hell is breaking loose, understand when you're building up somebody's faith and you're going into these scriptures, you're doing the whole lesson and you're, you're, you're putting points together that'll come full circle for them to realize and have that aha moment. Oh, right. okay. 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 Ah, I see. I see. And your faith gets built over time. It doesn't happen overnight. Right. So in that time, when there's certain things you need to know how to do through the spirit, you need to operate a certain way through the spirit. That's not something that we're going to sit down and say, you know, well, uh, let's let's, um, you know, we're going we're going to sit down and say, oh, let me let me uh, give you a nice two hour sermon. When all hell is breaking loose, we hungry as hell. Like shit is going on that you need to be attentive to, mm -hmm. you know, so in that time it's going to be like, yo, you got to you got to move. You got to run. You know, now ain't the time. You know, for, uh, 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 oh, can you please teach me this? Or what does this mean? Or the Lord ain't answering my prayers. What do I do? You, you, you gonna, hey, hey, you gonna need, you end up like Saul. Right. Yeah, yeah. Except there ain't gonna be no witch to conjure up Sam. Right. Right. You know? Right. Right. Yeah, you gonna be with me. Yep. <laughs> God, yeah. That's it. So, yeah, let's keep going. Uh, verse two. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest. Right. So, if you compare the wickedness on the earth today, to the wickedness that was on the earth during the uh, Ezra's time, it, it, it doesn't even, it's not even comparable. Okay, yeah, people were wicked back then. <laughs> they were wicked. But in this time, it's on a whole nother level. Because at, remember, at one point, Israel was it was uh, isolated and they were picking up the bad habits from the heathens that were around about us. Right. Now, what Esau has done is he's made a melting pot of all the different customs of all the different wicked worlds and wicked philosophies and put it in one and expose it all to Jake. Yep. So Jake ain't just following Babylonian deities. No, they, they're following Greek gods, Egyptian yep. gods, Babylonian deities. I yep. mean, they're mixing rituals left and right. Yep. They're all up in it, mm -hmm. you know? Without so, without true understanding of where these things go back to. Yep. You don't understand the true negative power of these things. Mm -hmm. You see, and Esau is using this as enchantments, you know, to keep you down and you people don't even know. Right. You think it's just cool. You think just listening to a music video or watching some type of uh, movie or whatever is just, oh, I'm just watching for entertainment. That's how they get you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's for entertainment. Entertainment. Trapping the tra exactly. Enter yeah, exactly. Trapping your mind, you know, with all kinds of different distractions for you, for, for them to take you away from the will of uh, uh, the will and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Which is ultimately the understanding of the scriptures. You got our old people saying, oh, I don't read the Bible. Oh, I, I, I don't, the Bible is not for me. It was written by a white. That's that's somebody who's completely lost. You're, you're just done. Ignorant. You're done. Ignorant. You're done. You're finished. It's over with. All right. Close the casket and, and, and throw it out in some place. Throw it in the you ocean. Know? Like throw it in the ocean. You know? <laughs> but, All right. Keep going. Oh, oh, that thou hast heard long ago. Mm -hmm. And the land that thou seest now to have room. Shall thou see wasted suddenly? Because it's going to be destroyed. How is it going to suddenly be destroyed by those missiles? Now that that that's going to happen here to America, but also remember Ezra. At this point, Ezra is receiving the vision that that region where he is in they, that that place is also going to get hit. You know, so the land that we're on now, which is America, is going to be destroyed suddenly. And how is that going to happen by way of those nuclear missiles? But also the land of Israel is going to be destroyed suddenly by way of those nuclear missiles. Right. Yeah, because remember, <laughs> the wickedness hasn't stopped because it's generation after generation, the same spirits, no matter what land they go to, it's the same spirits doing the same exact shit. So the niggas that the Lord cursed back, he said, um, uh, I think it was Chorazin and uh, Bethsaida, he cursed them out and said that, woe unto you, 
basically would have been better for you to be in Sodom and Gomorrah than, than to these two cities, mm -hmm. right? And those same cities, it's not just the land itself, but the people who are committing those those uh, uh, abominations that made him curse them, those same spirits are back here again in Babylon. Right. Melting pot, finna get melted in this pot. Mm -hmm. Okay, the the, 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 uh, the the altar. You know, and the Yahweh Shai, the, the priest, is about to make that sacrifice to the Heavenly Father. Yep. You know, with the the, the, the the fats of goats and rams and so on and so forth. All you wicked ass people about to get cooked. Mm -hmm. Why do you think America has the most obese people? You need the fatlings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, 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 what's that? The, the fat cows of Bashan and so on and yeah. so forth. You know, they're all here. And they don't even know what the hell is going on. That's why, just like goats and sheep, they're clueless to what the hell is happening. Mm -hmm. You know? They're not like dogs that, you know, sniff around. Their ears are attentive. They know what's going on. No, no, no. These are, these are sheep and goats just sitting out there waiting to be sacrificed. Yeah. You know, that's why Ezra said, so let them perish that were born in vain. Mm -hmm. You know, they were just born to be used as a sacrifice, man. Yeah. So for, for the Lord to come back and make that sacrifice to the Heavenly Father, that, that, that sweet savor unto the Lord, okay, that the mission is finally accomplished, you know? Mm -hmm. They're the extras. They're the extras, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep going. But if the Most High grant thee to live, thou shalt see after the third trumpet that the sun shall suddenly shine again in the night. And the moon thrice in the day. Yeah, and these are all going into those uh, those signs. Mm -hmm. You know, as the scriptures say that there's going to be uh, men's men's hearts feeling them uh, upon seeing the signs, the things that are coming upon the face of the earth. Yeah. So you're gonna have you're gonna have um, uh, different different natural disasters and different signs in the heavens and the constellations. Right. You know, but also going into that wisdom because yeah. we know the sun and the moon represent uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yeah. You know, so also ultimately you're also going to have that wisdom which is going to come forth. From the men of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai in these last days. Right. right. The light, the light will be taken away out of the land. Right. You know, where the, the, if there's no sun, there's darkness. If there's no moon, there's total darkness. Right. And that's representative, like you said, of the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of what? Of the light, which is this truth. Yep. Once that's taken away, the land is going to be complete darkness. That's why it tells you in Isaiah, it says what? Uh, uh, gross darkness, the people. Mm -hmm. Right. That's because the people are living without the, the true direction of, of, of reality. Yep. You know, they just live life just to live. Niggas is out here caught in a matrix and they don't even know how to get out of it. Most people don't even know that they're in the matrix. And and they've been conditioned to believe that the truth is just a conspiracy theory. You know, you bring up the truth, they're oh yeah, you guys are crazy. You guys are talking that, that crazy talk. Well, the crazy talk is what they want you to believe is crazy so you don't believe it. They know it's true, right? But they don't want you to know the truth. So you if you caught up in there when the when the Roman armies come in, what direction are you gonna go? Right, when the siege comes in, what direction are you going to go? You can't go to your right, you can't go to your left, you can't go south, you can't go north. The only way is up, and only the elect can go up. So where are you going to go? Mm -hmm. Right, You're going to be pelted by missiles, that's where you're going to go. All right, And we'll see you on the other side for your disobedience. Okay? Yep. What's that? Scriptures tell you, uh, what's that, Proverbs, the first chapter, that fools hate knowledge? Mm -hmm. So we consider these people as fools. That's why we don't bother with them. You know, all we got to do is just do the work. The Lord already told us He's going to make our foreheads hard against their foreheads. Mm -hmm. Right, that they're a stubborn nation, they're stubborn, they're sodish children. So we know, we know, we know what we're getting ourselves into here. All right, and that's why there's very little, you know, uh, 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 um, you know, uh, sympathy. We ain't got, we ain't got time for all those games. That's why you come, you come in, you come correct, or you keep it moving. That's it. Yeah. You know, and then, and then very soon people are gonna find out you don't have options. Right. Yeah. You live in a delusional world. You mm -hmm. don't have options. Mm -hmm. These, the people, like a lot of women today, think they got so-called options because they got people that are following them liking their pictures and right. shit those are not your options right. those people are going to be dead yeah. when all hell breaks loose they're not they're not surviving that mm -hmm. so you don't have options right now oh i got this guy i got this guy yeah. but when that time comes you're not going to be looking for that no. and even if you come across them you're going to see corpse yeah. you're going to be looking for men of the lord and men of the lord are very few in yeah. number yeah. okay yeah. so when that time comes you're going to realize what it's like and that's why isaiah 4 1 is written because jacob's trouble will force you to humble down Quick. And you're gonna come correct, but guess what? Even in your humble state, you go you gonna need to hope that the Lord put the spirit on us to pick you. Mm -hmm. Because just because you find us doesn't mean that we have to take care of you. Remember, Jacob's trouble, right? When a woman when she's saying to be called by thy name, we have to say, Okay, well, I'm gonna you I'm gonna take you under my wing, I'm gonna protect you, and then we're gonna go from there. Right. And that's responsibility. Right. So we, the Lord could put the spirit on us to discern and know, we just one look at you, we can read your spirit and know you are probably one of them ratchet Babylonian demons. Yeah. We, ain't no way I'm taking you under my wing for shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So at that point, don't don't think 
you gonna run around and do all this this stupid dumb whole shit. Yeah, you got you got women telling other women now if you if you delusional turn it up. Yeah, you know, yeah. and, and toxic and toxic twenties. Enjoy yeah. your toxic twenties. Yeah. And then after that you can settle down because you're too old for that shit. Right. Okay. So that's why the scriptures say many years and, and many days and years shall you be troubled, you care his daughters. Yeah. So when that time comes, you you keep that delusion up. Keep that the same energy. That's yeah. why that's why the Lord talks about uh they're gonna say that to take away their reproach. Mm -hmm. That's a reproachful thing for a woman to be that kind of out of order shit. Yep. Look at the women in the East and how they move. They don't move like the women over here. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Lord isolated America. The West is isolated from the rest of the world. You're in the West for a reason. You all the way over here to look up, pelt you with some missiles, man. We can't wait for that. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more women overseas than over here anyway. So we're going to get as many as we want anyway. The Lord going to keep creating more and more and more for us. Yep. Right? The whole earth is defiled. We got to we gotta reconstruct the whole entire system. Mm -hmm. Okay? We got to redo the whole entire thing. That's why in, in Second Peter talks about uh, a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. All right? We're not living in a righteous society. You got women over men, which the Lord said was going to happen. He said it was going to come a time where a woman shall what? Compass a man. You know what I'm saying? So we understand that. We know our faults. But now that we're going back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, as the army that's being risen up, we ain't got time for all these games, bro. You right. get in line or you stay back and, and, and wait for your missiles and that's it. Mm -hmm. All right, no arguments. We don't got to talk to you about shit. You don't got to believe what we're saying. Only for, it's only for the elect. We know we got the truth and that's all that matters. Right. You know, so if you don't got it, you're going to have to go to the sellers and buy. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. See you going? Yeah. Uh, what verse were we Um, The one, I think third, third or fourth. The sun shall shall shine in the day and the night and three. Oh, God, yeah. uh, verse four. But if the most high grant thee to live, thou shalt see after the third trumpet that the sun shall suddenly shine again in the night, and the moon thrice in the day, and blood shall drop out of wood, and the stone shall give his voice. Now when it says blood, blood shall drop out of wood, and the stone shall give his voice, that's going into the destruction. All right, because the the blood the blood dropping out of the wood doesn't mean that you're gonna have bleeding trees. Right. But when the the missiles hit, you're gonna have the trees, people, blood, all that mingled together. Okay, so that's what it's referring to, and it says the stone shall give its voice because you're gonna have destruction. You're gonna have stones hitting, and when buildings breaking down and all that, that is the voice that is talking about there. So it's really representing the destruction, and the beast of destruction. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a noisome, grievous, and noisome sort. It calls it a noise and pestilence. And pestilence, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Keep going. And blood shall drop out of wood, and the stone shall give his voice, and the people shall be troubled. Why are they going to be troubled? Because destruction is going to be happening all around them. And they're not going to know what to do. Hence Jacob's trouble. Go on. And even he shall rule whom they look not for that dwell upon the earth. Who they look not, right? Which is ultimately us. Because right now, they think in Russia, they think in China, you know, some are thinking, you know, whatever other countries, India, whatever countries they're thinking about, but they're not expecting so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to rule the right. earth, right. you know? So we going to rule who didn't, he shall rule who didn't expect to rule because Yahweh Shai is going to come back and he's going to set us up in power. That's right. That's right. Go on. Keep uh, going. Blood shall drop out of, out of wood, and the stone shall give his voice, and the people shall be troubled. And even he shall rule, whom they look not for that dwell on, upon the earth. And the fowl shall take their flight away together. Why is that? Because there's going to be destruction in it. Go on. And the Sodomish sea. Sodomitis. Shall, and the Sodomitis sea shall cast out fish and make a noise in the night. Now, when you look up the Sodomitis Sea, because this also goes into those signs of things that are going to be uh, taking place on the earth. When you look up the Sodomitis, Sodomitis Sea, it's talking about the Dead Sea. And the Dead Sea, we know, does not have fish because it's too salty to sustain life. So as it says here, it says it's going to cast out fish, which is something that's unnatural. It's that That's something that doesn't happen. You know, and it's going to make a sound in the night. So these all go into those signs of, of uh, and those wonders that are going to be taking place on the planet Earth during these times. Go on. And make a noise in the night, which many have not known, but they shall all hear the voice thereof. Go on. 
there shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be offset out again. And where's that fire going to come from? This destruction. Go on. And the wild beast shall change their places, and the menstruous woman shall bring forth monsters. So, so why, why did uh, why did Ezra say wild beasts shall change their places? Because he saw these different wild animals coming up into the, the city areas, inner cities. yeah, inner cities, attacking people. Do you have certain um places on the in the country where you'll see like a lot of bears or coyotes, you know, or alligators? So what he saw was a lot of them coming up into the cities because remember, in Second Ezra sixteen, it tells you that the paths of the earth are going to be made like like the wilderness because yeah. these cities are going to be abandoned, like in these uh, um, post apocalyptic movies. It doesn't take long for, for trees to start growing in buildings. Just a little bit of abandonment will, will do the job. So once that starts happening, these animals are going to start coming more inland. And that's why the scriptures also tell you that um, the, the beast shall be in league with thee. Why would they Why would they need to be in league with us if we're not even going to encounter them? And, and then it, it goes into the second thought, which says that um, menstruous women shall bring, uh, bring forth monsters, which is dealing with these deformed babies. Okay? Because back in the ancient world, you had very few cases of that. Today, because of all the toxins and all the, the, the lack of care that these mothers have, these so-called women uh, have, their babies are coming out deformed. But it says they're going to bring forth monsters. Keep going. And salt waters shall be found in the sweet. And the salt waters shall be found in the sweet. Now, read, read the, the menstruous monsters again. Um, and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. All right, and and those monsters they're gonna survive because Esau got the technology. Okay, I think uh, uh, that thought is also echoed in Second Ezra the sixth chapter or so, where it says that the um, the uh, uh, they they're gonna bring forth these these children and they're gonna live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, children of a day old and so on and so forth, and they're gonna live. Why are they gonna live? Because Esau got the technology where if you have a premature baby, for example, they can take them out the womb and and put them in a certain you know station. That can that can uh, uh, keep that baby alive. Right. Right. Go on. And salt waters shall be found in the sweet. Mm -hmm. And the sweet meaning the, the sweet represents the fresh. Right. Okay, which just ultimately goes into the knowledge and the, the wisdom and understanding, because the sweet waters represent the, the the rivers of living waters, which is the truth, mm -hmm. and the salt waters represent these false philosophies. So ultimately, what's going to happen is a lot of people going to be looking for the truth, but they ain't going to find it. Right. And then and that. That sentiment is going to be echoed as we keep on reading. Right. That's that. That's that. Uh, uh, that's the uh, uh, the famine. Basically, the famine of the word. Because now you're you're searching for the truth, the true water, but you can't you can't drink salt water. Right. And that's the time where you're thirsty. You're not going to be drinking more salt water. It's not possible. Yeah. You're, you're going to be looking for fresh, exactly. Yeah. Which is the word of the Lord to hydrate you. And it's very. It's, it's going to be uh, very few and common. Yeah. You know, even when you take it on a literal sense, Esau is polluting the whole entire water. Mm -hmm. You see, the land, the ocean, everything is being polluted. So when the time comes, you, you're going to be desperate, and you're going to be in desperate need of that spiritual hydration, and you're not going to find it. That's right. You know? Yep. Uh, and also, um, uh, I think you just said something, you brought a thought to mind. Mm -hmm. All right, it'll, it'll come back if the Lord goes in. But let's keep going. And all friends shall destroy one oh, another. Ah, it just came back. So basically, as the scripture said, I think it's in Isaiah 24. It talks about how they're going to be running uh, to and fro. It says they're going to be seeking the word of the Lord. Well, that's in Amos. But there's one that says, um, uh, um, basically, they're going to be running looking for wine in the streets, which that represents this knowledge as well. Yeah. Go on. And all friends shall destroy one another. Which is also in 2nd Ezra 6, around the 24th verse. Why are they going to destroy one another? Because they're going to turn one against another because of desperation. Because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. There you go. Right. And also, too, Yahushai also talked about how uh, the brother... Uh, the man's full of his own house. Exactly. Yeah. You're going to have the, the father-in-law against the son-in-law, the mother-in-law, the daughter against the mother, and so on and so forth. That's all what? A sense of what? Division. Yeah. And division normally happens when there's a state of confusion. All right. There's no understanding. There's no uh, lack of clear direction. Everybody wants to do what they feel is best for their survival. Right. Right. And that's when the, you go have uh, the, uh, in Second Ezra. It talks about they that consent unto them shall be had in derision. Right. So you go have consenting simply means uh, uh, to to together with one sense. Right. 
con meaning with and then sent uh sent goes to the word sense right so you're gonna have people who are in their clear mind giving uh, uh some form of uh, a spirit of betrayal you know they're gonna think oh yeah you know if i sell them out you know i'm gonna be good and they're gonna turn on you yep. you know you might be coming in with the mindset of you know oh I, I, yeah you know I, I led them to this thing i told them that the motv is not what they say it is and how does how does I'm, I'm i gotta pay for this now mm -hmm. yeah because it's a judgment yep. esau is using you just as a as a means to his end mm -hmm. And after that, he's going to do away with you. He tells you in the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, mm -hmm. you know, that when he need, he has need of you, he will treat you nice. He'll be all cute and sweet and give you promises. But after the deed is done, he's going to turn on you and then book your ass in sure. and say, oh, see, you committed a crime. You Meanwhile, he'd be sitting there like, wait, but you told me to do it this way. Mm -hmm. Well, nigga, you shouldn't have done it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> never trust the devil. Never trust an enemy. There you go. Yeah. All right. Then shall wit hide itself, and understanding withdraw itself into his chains, secret chamber. Yeah. So, so just in, as as all hell is breaking loose on a on a on a higher note, common sense ain't gonna be common. People are gonna start thinking irrationally. They're not gonna be able to plan and think through things. First off, a little bit of of commotion here, and people already don't know how to think. You know, they're already bugging out. They're worried about oh, how did this happen instead of thinking of solutions. So when that time comes, it's going to be far, far, far worse. So many things are going to be happening at once. That wit that allows you, when it says somebody's witty, you know, that means they're, they're, they're quick to think. Right. You know, they're able to, like, if you're talking to somebody that's witty, they always got answers. Right. Just like that. Right. But in this time, that ain't going to be happening. Mm -hmm. People going to be having them brain fogs. They're yeah. going to be completely through. Right. But ultimately, the true wit, which is its wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, is going to hide itself because it resides amongst the elect. And when the Lord withdraws us, from these street corners and doing these lessons, you're not going to be able to know who's of the elect and who's not. Right. How are you going to look at somebody and tell, unless you recognize their face, mm -hmm. that this guy knows the answers to my questions? Mm -hmm. You're not. Mm -hmm. So it's going to hide itself, especially when people need it the most. Right. Hey, it's, it's even happening now. You know, I remember when we first came to the truth. You know, you you meet anyone, you wanna, you're so eager to tell right. them the truth. Now, the truth is so precious to us that we're not willing to share it with nobody. Yeah. Unless we sense the spirit of sincerity on you, we're not going to tell you anything that you need to know. Mm -hmm. You see? So you might be walking next to a man of the Lord and not even know about yep, it. Yep, yep. You might be putting curses on yourself. Mm -hmm. And we watch all these things. And the Lord is the Lord got angels all over us. They keep record of all these things. The Lord might send us specifically to somebody said just so they could be judged. Mm -hmm. You know, or you spoke to a, a, my, one of my men and you didn't even know you didn't even recognize it. Look at you. Now you're done. Mm -hmm. You know? So the Lord got special judgments for the whole entire planet, bro. And if you're not of the elect, you're not going to be shielded. You're going to be cooked, man. Yep. Like we always say. All right. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Oh. And of verse 10, it shall be sought of many and yet not be found. Right. And it's the same many that when it was out here, they didn't, they didn't care. They walked past it. The same many are going to come and seek that, that same information again. And what? Not be found. Why are they going to seek it? Because they're going, they're going, oh, these, 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 them Hebrew Israelites, see, they don't listen to the exact things we talk about, but they know overall what the certain things we talk about are. Oh, they, they preach about America being destroyed. They preach about, so when they start seeing the destruction happening, they're going to start thinking, oh, these guys were talking about it. Let me go try and hear what it is exactly that they were saying about it. And they're going to come and they ain't going to find us. So when they need it most, you are, you are, it's, like, oh, it's like, um, your keys. You always see your keys when you don't need it. It's yep. this there. You always see it. Sometimes you got to even throw it somewhere. Mm -hmm. The one time that you're late, you can't find that shit. And it's like the most, that's the only thing on your mind. Right. You're going to mess up your whole house mm -hmm. just for those keys yep. that you always see. You see, and that, that feeling of desperation is what they're going to be in. Right. And, and what makes matters worse is not having enough time. Yep. Right. It's yep. like if you yep. had all day, you're not really worried about, I'll, I'll look for it later. Mm -hmm. But I, I need to go. I need my keys. The one thing that I need to actually lock my door and get in my car, I can't find. Mm -hmm. And then you start bugging the hell up. You start getting mad. And somebody minding their own business, you asking them, yo, you see my keys? Why do you touch my keys? Nigga, I don't know where your keys are at. And then you create an enemy out of that. And then you start fighting and it's all desperation and so on and so forth. You know? Uh, uh, I asked you, got that? Yeah, uh, this is uh, Proverbs chapter 1, start with verse 24. Uh, it says, Because I have called, because I have called and ye refused. Mm -hmm. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Mm -hmm. But ye have said at not all my counsel and what none of my reproof. Mm -hmm. I will also la uh, laugh at your calamities. I will mock you when your fear cometh. Mm -hmm. 
when your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Keep going? Yeah, I want the, uh, they shall seek me early. Right. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but that will not find me. There you go. Uh, I'm not bringing that point right back, that precept we just read. Uh, Second Ezra 5 and 10. Mm -hmm. And shall be saw of many, and yet not be found. There you go. So the Lord is reiterating by two different prophets, again, two different prophecies saying the same exact thing, that wisdom is going to be what? It's going to be so precious that it's going to be hard to find. Right? That means that that's when you have Isaiah 13 and 12 where it talks Man, about the there you go. Gold, yep. You see, because now this is this is the, the key moment where we need this. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a it's not a want, it's a need. And we're gonna have it. We're gonna have on it on deck in abundance. Yep. You see, in abundance because it's not from us, it's from Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And that's the that's the goal. Apostle Aram mm -hmm. always used that example of being able to go back into your, your spiritual bank account. Right. When your spiritual bank, when you, when there's a time of crisis and you got it, like Egypt, mm -hmm. everybody flocks towards you. Mm -hmm. You see, everybody, and you, you become the most, the most uh, valuable person. Why the hell do you think all these devils are trying to what? Trying to take as much as they can. They got land. They got this. They're trying to make sure they have all control over everything, the natural resources. You don't see Bill Gates investing in, in Nikes and Jordans and stupid shit like that. TVs. No, he's investing in land. He's investing in the in the food resources, the food source, the the water energy, the the the, the electricity, and housing, and so on and so forth. This is what they're investing in, because those are going to be the most important things you need in the time of crisis. So when they have the power, they get to decide and dictate what you do and how to get to these things, right? So there's a gateway, there's a bait. Same thing with the Lord, you see. But this is where you got to get your preparations done because when the action comes, you got to fight. There's not time to now gather your weapons. You got to be ready to go. You know, and the warning has been going out for years and years and years, and now it's time for the showdown. All right, and only the elect are gonna make it out through. Okay, the rest you're done, you're finished, it's over with. All right. That's right. Okay, the precept. Uh, yeah. uh, this is Amos eight and eleven. Mm -hmm. Behold, the days come, save the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. Uh, see, so the Lord said he's going to send it. You know, he's going to send that famine. Just like he sent out the prophets in Isaiah, uh, 1 Corinthians 4 and 9, that he sent us out last. He's the same one that's going to send the famine, meaning he's going he's gonna to withdraw us. Okay. And in the famine, it doesn't mean there's no food. It just means that you don't have access to it. So we're going to still be here on the earth. You're just not going to have access to us. Yep. That's what's going to make us more precious. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, yo, I came in contact with a man of the Lord. Yep. That's so rare. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord's going to seclude us from society. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to be here, but you're not going to see us. Yep. The Lord is not bringing the hell attention on us. He's not going to be looking for us. He's not just going, he's just not going to find us. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he's attending to all these crazy people, chaos everywhere. You think he's not going to be looking for the men who are at peace? Hell no. Right. That's, that's his last of his concern. You know, until the time comes where the battle begins. And then the Lord say, all right, here you go. Here, here, my men. Now let's see what y'all got. Hey, um, you, re you read in the scriptures, there's certain precepts that I'll tell you, like even with Rebecca. Mm. When Rebecca was having trouble in her womb, what happened? It says she went to inquire of God. Yep. So it shows you the, 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 the value of the prophets. Yep. You know, people went looking. Right. Even uh, Elisha, right. when the, uh, the Syrian uh, mm -hmm. guy, you know, he came there. He, mm -hmm. he said, he, I heard about the things that you did. Mm -hmm. Now I'm coming to see what's up. So right. people went to inquire. Uh, uh, of the Most High right. from the prophets, right. you know, because they knew if I need answers, I need to find a man of God. Look at Saul. Look what he did. Yep. Look at the lengths he went to just to get some some answers from the Lord through through, through Samuel. Yep. He's like, yo, I don't care if he's dead, he's still valuable to me. Let, let's conjure him up. Mm -hmm. You see? So that's how valuable the men of the Lord are. Man, how much more a man who's alive who can protect you, provide for you? You feel in his house, so you know you're good. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he's a man of the Lord. Yep. You see? The Lord said he's going to keep us in the hour of temptation. That's Just right. like he showed us two, three years ago, he already showed us that he's going to do the same thing. And we kept our faith in him mm -hmm. until today. And our faith even got increased during those times. Yep. We saw things, right? We got testimonies on that. You know what I'm saying? We went through things, you know, and the Lord came through big time until today. All right. So how much more of the times that we've been preparing for? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, <laughs> that's, that's really the real showdown.
That's right. You know? That's right. And, and that's the spirit, too. Because, like, when you think about gold and diamond and, uh, and, and precious, all these precious stones, oil, you know, these things, men have died over these things, mm. right? But they are hidden by dirt. It is only dirt that hides them. Mm. But how much more a man of the Lord who's hidden by the Most High? Right. I mean, who knows where God lives? Mm. <laughs> you know, who can convince the Lord to change his mind? Mm. Who is able to pry that man of the Lord out of the hands of the Most High? Mm -hmm. If people go as far as they have been going for something that's hidden by dirt, they just have to get past dirt, look at what they have to do. Right. How much more someone who's in the hands of the Most High and they got to get past, yo, they got to get past the angels, they got to get past everybody, and then they got to get to the Most High, and then they got to beat the Most High to get the man Lord out of his hands. Mm -hmm. How much, you know that? That's the, You got to really think about that, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah, good point, good point. So let's finish off in second there's just five to Oh, God, God. Yep, God. Second Ezra is five and ten. That shall be sought of many, and yet and yet not be found. It's just gonna make it more precious. Keep going. And shall unrighteousness and then, incontency. Then shall. Be, then shall unrighteousness and incontency. Incontinency. 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 Be multiplied upon the earth. Yeah, and and, and that links up with what um how was I said. Okay, about about um, the love of many wax and cold, you know, leading to that wickedness um, and unrighteousness and incontinence. He goes into lack of control, so that lack of self control. So people are going to be given into their lust and their desires, murdering, killing, you know, uh, graping, stealing, because there's going to be nothing there to stop them. Because right? all hell is going to be breaking loose. See, so as it tells you, and in, in, in those times, people are going to be looking for the word of the Lord, looking for protection, direction, instruction, and they ain't going to get it. And it says what? It's going to be multiplied. Right. Not just added on, but multiplied. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be very, very scary, uh, uh, chaotic, and unstable times. Mm -hmm. Right. That's why murder, wickedness is going to be the norm. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing that now. We're seeing it on, the, on a lower level, you know, with the way people are speaking, the way they're living life and shit. You said, you know, you'd be like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Mm -hmm. But soon it's going to be in actions. You know, why did they show you the movies all the time? The Purge and all these different movies is Esau's predictive programming. It's showing you. This is what your life is about to be very soon. That is not 20 years from now. It's not 30 years from now. People are saying they're talking about, oh, by 2030, they're saying they're going to be given the, the karagma. No, listen, bro, this shit is in the works right now as we speak. They said by 2030, this is going to be the standard. Mm -hmm. That means they about to start building to that, which they already have been building to that. It's just a matter of time before they start unveiling these things. And that's when the the, 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 the evils will be multiplied yeah. because they, they Esau not going to be coming in on some like, hey, look, we're trying to be, you know, a civil society here. They don't give a shit. You know, it's all about what? They, they got their bunkers. They're good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got their billion dollar bunkers. They chilling. So it's going to be you versus AI. Now let's see who's who. Yeah. And then we go from there. Yeah. Go on. One land also shall ask another and say, is righteousness that maketh a man righteous gone through thee? And it shall say no. And ultimately, what's what's the righteousness that maketh a man righteous? It's truth. So they're gonna be they're gonna be looking for the truth, and they're gonna say no, nope, they ain't here. You know, sorry. And, and and the truth at this point now is is sounding more and more like an ancient thing. You know, and the less people, uh, the more we're, we're advancing in the years, the less people are gravitating towards the truth. And that's what makes the truth even more valuable because now you meet people and you speak to them they're like oh shit, yo you know some shit. yo i didn't right, know this is right. you know it's like things that they never even knew existed mm -hmm. it makes what you're saying that much more valuable mm -hmm. because it's not like you're just saying shit. you're telling them things that's bringing their mind to it like oh that makes sense i never thought about it that way yo i always wondered why this i always wonder right. why that right. you see so you when you you got the answers and that's the most important thing the answers not just any answer but the answers that makes it the truth if it's the thing, that means it's the thing. It's the standard. It's, it's what it is. You know, a, an answer is just an answer. But the answer is what everybody's going to be looking for. It's the center. Right. The center point. You see? So that's what's, that's what's happening. You've seen it on a lower level. You know, but soon it's going to be the norm. You know, no truth whatsoever. And now it's like, damn, if I meet a man who got this kind of truth, yo, I'm trying to hear it. You know, I'm trying to get closer to that. You know? Mm -hmm. All right. At the same time, at the same time shall men hope, but nothing obtained. They shall labor, but their ways shall not prosper. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna hope, but nothing obtained. They're going to labor, but their ways ain't going to prosper. 
Because ultimately they're gonna be looking for a way out, and the Lord's gonna tell them that you ain't getting no way out, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gonna starve, you gonna suffer, you gonna go through this pain. You know, and ain't gonna be no way out. So ultimately, all these efforts that these people have is all gonna be in vain. All the money you're making, all the grinding, all the everything that you think you're building is all gonna be broken down. And you're gonna be left with just you and your empty ass head. And that's when you're gonna realize what's really valuable. Mm -hmm. You know, and in that time, a lot of people are going to be, uh, uh, you know, they're going to be caught with their pants down. Right? The scriptures tell you that profit, um, uh, uh, riches profit on the day of wrath, mm -hmm. right? But what? But righteousness, delivered righteousness from delivereth from death. Yep. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So you got people laboring for uh, righteous, I, I, for, for riches, you know, people going in, I'm chasing after the bag and all this shit. Nigga, you, be, you finna be in the bag. <laughs> all right? You finna be bagged up and thrown in the, in the ocean someplace, man. You're going to be in the back of a fucking uh, 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 a Humvee. All right, and they're going to send you away. By the time you, your, your blindfold is taken off, you're in a whole new facility, mm -hmm. you know, where they're going to be saying, well, welcome, you know, welcome to this. And you're going to be hearing robots talking to you, not no more people. You're going to be seeing AI uh, fucking robot dogs walking around. You're going to be pissed because there's nobody to see you crying, you know, to hear, to sympathize with you. You know, you got all these robots walking crap, 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 and pushing you, you know, kicking you giving you orders and you have to take orders from a goddamn robot. No, robots, they don't hesitate. They don't hesitate. You know, they'll shoot you right up right in the spot. Yeah, you might look to your right and see somebody get, they tell them, stand up. Yep. You got three seconds. Yep. The second is three point boom, boom. first and shot. That's Damn. it. You know, and then, then you're going to be having to adhere to what the robots say. You know, how how, how painful is that going to be? What a, what a reality. Huh? Yeah, that's what's going to happen to those who don't want to listen to this truth right now. You know? What's that? Suspect terrorism. <laughs> um, I think that was it, right, Amnath? Yeah. Um, read, read the next verse, let me hear. I think that was a really good point. And if I will pray again, then we Yeah, no, no, that, that's pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you know, that's pretty much it. You know, uh, uh, the whole point is, man, we're in that time. It's, it's no more we're coming to that time. Now we're in that time. You know, and it's, all it's going to do is it's going to escalate more and more and more and become more and more apparent. So for us, we've been doing the work of the Lord. The scriptures say, wax old and thy work. You know, and Lord willing, that's what we're going to continue to do. And the Lord is going to hold us down just like he's, he's always been holding us down. And the rest of these people, they're going to be asked out. But when that time comes, man, it's going to be all faith, trust in Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai. Let's get anything else? Yeah, hey, hey, and uh, you know, ultimately, man, look, don't 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 take heed to these cornballs telling you that uh, that the MOTV is that, that there's a reason why the Lord got his men really going into that topic more and more and more to this point to the point where even the apostle always says it's at, as at, at nauseum you know because you hear it all the time why because that's the next prophecy to be fulfilled you know so you need to be hearing the warning all right warnings always come before the trouble all right trouble don't come then you get the warning no 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 right. the warning comes first and you hear it over and over and over for a long time before that trouble comes so that way you you don't have an excuse you can't say well i didn't know nigga you knew you heard at least you should have heard it. You, when you heard it, you should have done something about it. Which is what? Go and look it up. Go study. You got niggas who are so lazy. So, so lazy. You can go into their words, karab, and so on and so forth, and you arrive at the same answer. See? We're just trying to lead you to the right, the way of righteousness. You know? But again, we understand that it's only for the elect. Alright? It's only for the elect, and that's the only people we're, we're focused on, and that's it. Makes our job much, much easier. You know, rather than trying to dabble with these dumbass people that don't want to listen. You know, the Lord even said that, that, that uh, an ass is, is smarter than Jake, and that's a fact, all right? An ass will, will, will go according to his nature. Jake trying to go against his nature, man, all right? You go against your creator, who the fuck does that, you know? You go against everything that's that's called uh, uh, God, you know, because you follow after the, the ways of your father, the devil, and he's going to lead you right into your into your death, man, all right? You keep following these, these fake-ass pastors, these fake-ass prophets, all right, and see where it's going to end you. All right, you're going to end up right in that in that in that bunker, man, <laughs> in them in them concentration camps. All right, them, them places are ready for you people to land, land over there. All right, so it's coming. It's coming. The, the great uh, 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 rounding up is coming. The great starvation is coming. The great pestilence is coming. All right, the great shakeup is coming. OK, and we're months away from that day, man. And when it comes, we're going to be rejoicing in the Lord because we know the Lord is coming back soon. All right. So for the rest, if you're not taking heed, now is your time. You better get ready because any day now, once they say it's time to go, when the Lord gives them that go ahead, there'll be no mercy. Like the New World Order mantra says, expect no mercy. And they, they plan to get it, whether it's by consent or by conquest. So be ready. John, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. John.
All right, so with that, you know, Lord willing, you are edified. We'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, And until next time, Shalom. Shalom.